Hello, hello, hello. It's good to talk with you again. We've been looking at what I'm calling God's gracious do-over, the fact that our Heavenly Father loves us so much that He gives you and me a new beginning, a fresh start. His mercies are renewed every morning, and I'll tell you, every morning I need them. His great love is what compelled Him to send the Lord Jesus, His only dear Son, to pay the price for our sin. I want to talk about what it means to be in Christ. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, it says, if anyone is in Christ. And sometimes people are confused by that language. What does it mean to be in Christ? Well, let me ask you this question. What does it mean to be in a jet, to be sitting in a jet? How did you get there? You chose to go in and enter that jet. To be in Christ is simply an act of your will, an act of choice. You choose by an act of your will that you are going to believe, you are going to have faith, and by virtue of that choice, by an act of your will, you are now in Christ. Does it mean you and I understand every mystery? Does it mean we're never confused? Of course not. But it's the beginning of the journey. And faith, as I've talked about before, isn't a blind faith as some people believe, but because of the shortness, the brevity of these clips, right now I can't go into that. Let me again encourage you. I would love to have some dialogue. So if you want to email me, if you want to share with me what God has done for you, write me, email me at Phil at GodTalk2, the number two, dot com. Phil at GodTalk2.com. Until tomorrow, God bless you.